Hello, my name is Sean. In this, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add water into your 3D world. To get started, you need to select the Move tool. With the Move tool selected, click on the brush. Then you can actually reduce the size of the brush or increase the size of the brush. And if I just click there, I will be able to increase the terrain. However, if I hold the Shift key down while I'm clicking and dragging, I will be able to reduce the terrain. So now I'm just creating something that like, looks like a little poodle there. So now I'm going to add some water. I'm just going to go select my standard assets. If you not, if you do not have the standard assets, just watch one of my previous video tutorials on how to add the standard assets. I'm using currently the version 2021.1. If you do have issues with your standard assets and your prog project cannot run, uh, then you need to watch my previous video tutorial on how to fix that. I'm going to put the uh, video into the uh, comments so you can actually watch it. It's only a few minutes long, less than 10 minutes. So anyway, I'm going to go to the search bar. I'm going to type the word water. I'm going to double click on, uh, let's select that one, the second folder and select the first folder here and then select prefabs. And I'm just going to select that one here, click and drag. I'm going to use now the scale tool to just increase the size. You can always increase the size here on the inspector. Let's increase the size there. So as you can see here, I've got a leak on my water. I'm just going to click, use the move tool to push things around okay so make sure you have uh, the terrain uh, higher all around so the water basically will take the shape so I'm just gonna bring Ethan here closer so I can actually see what is happening here so Ethan somewhere there let's bring him here okay this will do. Let's have a look now. Okay, so Ethan is here. Uh, if I have a look here, I will be able to see the water. And if I jump, I can see the ripple of the water. Okay, that's quite good. That's not good, so you can actually put something there to stop it. And obviously you don't want to make it too deep. Although it's going to go fall through. Okay, so this is how you add water into your project. Uh, there's lots of different uh, water effects that you can actually put. You could actually go through the prefabs and you can actually play around with this, with these prefabs. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, you can add uh, these waters here, water base, prefabs, so you can make it a bit darker. Uh, let's increase scale up this. Raise it up a little bit. Okay, well, let's press play. Obviously, don't put, don't leave both of them there. You can remove the one that you don't use. So that's quite a good effect for water. But there's again, there's quite a few of them. If you come, if you play around, you will be able to actually see them. Okay, I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will use these new new skills of yours to create great games. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.